So day one of Baltimore Comic Con is in the bag. It's done. And I got a stack of books and I'm working on some more. But let me share with you what I got on the first day. I think you're going to like this stuff. Check it out. Okay, so yeah, day one is completed. Let's talk about what we picked up. Uh, and uh, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, some of the stuff I think I have. I wasn't sure, so I, I kind of may have overbought some things. But definitely, let's check it out anyway. Very first thing, and I know I don't have this, is Dragon Lair number one. Like, oh, I remember this game. Oh, right? That's going in the old 80s collection. <laughs> Even if it wasn't the 80s. I got to double check that. Next, Ewoks number one. Right? This clean copy too. I like that. I think I have this, but I couldn't pass up on the price, especially when I was bundling some deals. But Alf number one. I'm almost positive I have this now. So that may end up in an auction. Frogger Rock number one. Boom. Yes. Super happy about that. I remember watching that as a kid. Uh, I know I have this one too now that I think about it, but I couldn't pass it up. Sleepwalker number one. I just always loved that cover. It's just a cool cover. Super cool. Next, uh, Captain Planet number one. We may disagree ideology, but uh, still, I respect the guy. <laughs> uh, Kazar number one. Right? Good stuff there. Next, Toxic Avenger, number one. Again, I know I have copies of this, but again, I couldn't pass up on the price on it. To put a few more in the old PC or to put it into one of my auctions. Uh, next, Howard the Duck, number one. I've always been putting off buying this book, but I'm super happy to have it now. Next, uh, DC Comic Presents, and uh, yeah, it's that Superman, He-Man one. I went ahead and pulled the trigger and uh, got this into my collection now. The first cameo appearance, used properly the word, in, uh, in comic book form. Superman going over to Eternia. Yeah, some really good stuff there. Uh, this one I found, and I've never seen it before, so I figured I'd just go ahead and pick it up. But uh, Marvel, I want to say Fumit book. I don't know how to say it, but there's Stan Lee on the cover. And that's worth a buy in my book. Uh, next, a uh, bad idea was there. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, it's probably one of the funniest campaign, marketing campaigns I've seen. Uh, them kind of poking fun at the industry, if you will, of secondary buyers and stuff. So they had, uh, they had two books that came out. <laughs> And uh, this is not Orc Island number one, and this is not Escape from Wyoming number one. We got both of those. You had to do something, if you were wondering what that Instagram post was on my Instagram, with me standing next to the cardboard cast. That's what you had to do to do this, and then take a number, and then stand in line, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm going to wait till the con's over before I break the egg on this one and tell you what this is about. But it was, it was actually kind of funny. Uh, also, met some really cool people. Huge shout out. Comic Man Andy was there. Uh, Javon Jordan was there. We talked. Um, let's see. Paul Dunn was there. Me and Paul Dunn hung out a little bit. He's a cool cat. I like his Paul Dunn show. Uh, Mars from Casually Comics was there as well. So a lot of good YouTubers, you know, be bopping around, talking. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to grab some dinner, a couple of drinks, and then we start day two. So, stay posted. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.